Hello Capricorn, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Uh, this is going to be your general surprise reading for um, the next three major events that you don't see coming. Uh, now this is going over October to December, so this is pretty much just the rest of 2021. So let's go ahead and get started here for you all. Um, I do have personals open if you all are interested. You could also check me out on uh, Patreon or you could check out my social media pages. Um, all that information is down below if you are interested. So let's go ahead and get started here for you Capricorn and see what we are getting. Let's see what we're getting here for you Capricorn. Capricorn, major event number one that you don't see coming, 2021. Ace of Swords. So it could be some paperwork that comes through, some communication, but I do feel like this is a good thing here. It's clarity at least, okay? It's something you've been waiting on. Let's get some cards out for what this is about here. Capricorn. The world reversed. Four of swords reversed. Four of cups reversed. So the number four is going to be significant to you guys at this time, but I feel like this is something that actually allows you to move forward. It, it allows you to close something out here that you didn't think could be closed out. Um, some of you, like, there's an agreement to close out a contract. I don't know if this is, like, a lease or something of that nature with the world card in, in the reverse position, but it's something that you didn't expect to uh, complete so soon. Some of you, this could be, like, a certification or something of that nature here. Uh, but it's something that's been held on to, okay? It's something that's been held on to or it's something that has held on to you. A truth is coming in about that. You got the King of Swords right here. So somebody's expressing something to you or you're getting news that, you know, something's time. Some of you, something has fallen off. Um, like something has fallen off of like a record or something of that nature here. Uh, you have the moon card right here. So this is, again, this is something that you didn't expect, okay? It's a truth coming in from this fixed sign for some of you here, Capricorn. But I feel like you've been in a rut about this. Like this is something that really had you in your head. Um, and then I feel like, you know, it's almost like you got used to this. You got used to this truth here or to the new way of things. And then the four of cups being in the reverse position, I feel like things start to turn around for you. I also feel like for a small portion of you, things start to turn around because you wake up to something here or because you wake up to the truth. You know, with the four of uh, swords being in the reverse position, upright like that man is laying there asleep. Um, but, you know, being in the reverse position, I feel like you allow yourself to feel something or you allow yourself to face a really unpleasant truth. The moon card can talk about your subconscious as well. So it could be something that you've buried here, just something that you weren't aware of before. But I feel like you're finally seeing that and I think that it is allowing you to move forward and to also possess something, to have something. And I'm not sure what this is that you're going to be having because of this Capricorn, but um, I feel like it allows you to gain more. All right. Uh, the number four is going to be really significant to you. You've got three of them showing up here. But I definitely feel like overall there's a truth here that's coming in that's going to set you free from something that you didn't expect to be set free from so soon, okay? Again, you got used to it. Some of you accepted it as something just long-term, something permanent. And it's like, no, that's not the case here. Actually, you're free to go. Major event number two that Capricorn doesn't see coming for the remainder of 2021. Ace of Wands. What's that Ace of Wands about? Got two aces here now. The Star Reverse. Change of Direction. Four of Cups Reverse. Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Eight of Pentacles Reverse. The Devil. All right. So yeah, right off the bat with the star card being in the reverse position, I feel like there is a change in direction here. Some of you leave your roots. You get out of uh, what it is that you've always known with the four of cups being in the reverse position. Um, upright, she's sitting at the trunk of that tree there. To me, that could be either you in a rut or you um, kind of at your roots here. Okay. So this could be you kind of, um, you know, staying in one spot, feeling a little bit stuck, but it's showing up in the reverse position. So I feel like there's opportunity to get out of this here. Some of you have a Libra, Virgo, Aquarius, or another Capricorn offering you some something here. You got the seven of pentacles right here as well. Okay. So there's a lot that, there's a lot that has to be done. There's a lot of work to be done with the seven of pentacles showing up. Somebody could have Saturn in Taurus, but, um, I feel like before you can actually take off with this new opportunity or take off with this new idea or connection, whatever it might be to you. Um, it feels like there's a lot to unpack here. Some of you, I think that this could be something that didn't work in the past, all right? I think that there were restrictions. I feel like that's why the devil was here. It's like this is something that I feel you've tried before, 
Um, I think that's why the Four of Cups is in the reverse position. You're like, I'm going to try it a different way. You know, you go back to the root of the situation. You're like, well, this isn't what worked, so I'm going to try it a different way. Because the Eight of Pentacles is in the reverse position. So it's like there were some restrictions here. It could involve resources. It could involve time. But you just didn't have something here to make something come to fruition here, to bring a vision to life. And I think that you have that now, and you're ready to use it. Some of you, it's wisdom. It's knowledge, okay? So this could be like a certification or a degree or something you're getting. You have the piece of paper. You have the title to do what it is that you want to do. Some of you, you finally have the money to do what it is that you want to do. Um, or again, you just have the wisdom. You just know how to do it better this time. So I like that for you all. Let's go ahead and look at the third one. Third major event, Capricorn doesn't see coming in the remainder of 2021. Third major event that Capricorn doesn't see coming in the remainder of 2021. Page of Swords reversed. Somebody comes out of hiding here, an air sign for some of you. Four of Swords right here. Yeah, somebody comes out of hiding, okay? What's happening with this? Nine of Cups. Somebody could have Jupiter and Libra or Jupiter and Pisces. Two of Cups reversed. Somebody you've had a falling out with here. Five of Wands. It's like nobody can compete. Saturn and Leo. The Lovers Reverse. Could be a Gemini for some of you. Three of Swords Reverse. They're wanting to mend something with you. So do with that what you will. But that's coming through very, very clear here, Capricorn. Um, somebody has like been completely off the radar here. It's like you have no idea what they've been doing. They're coming out of hiding, okay? But the pages almost feel like for some of you, there could be somebody getting out of jail here. Um, or they're moving back. It's like somebody has been completely gone here, okay? It's almost like they've been wiped off the face of your earth, okay? Your world. But the Page of Swords reversed. Here they are. Okay, here they are. Wow. And I also feel like they have a new appreciation for you with the Nine of Cups and the Four of Swords for your support in the past. Okay, it feels like you supported them a lot in the past. They have a new appreciation, uh, gratitude for this support. Like they're wanting to thank you here. They're wanting to thank you. They're wanting to reconnect. You've got the Two of Cups reversed. So I definitely feel like this is someone who could have moved. All right. They could have moved or um, they, they had a responsibility to take care of is how that feels to me. I think they've tried to connect with others, but Five of Wands reverse. Like I said, I feel like there's there's nobody who competes here. Okay. You got the Three of Swords in the reverse position. They definitely want to heal something with you. So do with that what you will. I feel like they've been through a lot here. They've made a lot of changes. Um, yeah, they've made a lot of changes. They've had to learn a lot the hard way is how that feels to me, Capricorn. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm feeling here for you as well in the remainder of 2021. But uh, Capricorn, you're more than welcome to watch uh, out for your other signs. You could also book a personal if you'd like. But this is where we part. I want to thank you so much for watching and supporting me. And you all enjoy the rest of your year. Bye.